This is our first artist of the month, and his name is Jim McKenzie. The first thing that I want you to see is that the poster right here, uh, the green one will always be there. The number one is the artist, and it's Jim McKenzie, like I said. Number two is DOB, which means date of birth. He was born September 18, 1989, and it says um, backslash 28. He's still alive today. He's 28 years old. He was born in Brooklyn, New York. Influenced by fairy tales and animals, and description of him, he's a fine artist, a sculptor, and a director. And his famous work are, he is a designer, animator, professor, director of commercials. Um, and this is some of his artwork, and I'm going to show you some videos. We're going to start talking about texture today, and if you look really close on his work, he has a lot of texture that he's used in his artwork. So, um, there's a couple of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, but this is the beginning of our Artist of the Month. Hello everyone. I wanted to remind you really quick that our yearbook cover designs are due. Uh, they are due by November 15th. You want to have lots of color, color baby color. Be creative. And on the back of your design, you need to have your name, your first and last name in pencil, and also have your teacher's letter and your teacher's letter um, and your grade number and they go in my free draw basket this is last year's winner so i really want those coming in so that's just something to remind you uh, what we're going to do today is we're talking about texture and you're going to get to make your own little texture book see how i've written the word texture t-e-x-t-u-r-e-s and i've put some textures on it we've already talked about the elements of art we've talked about line color shape, form, space, and our next one is texture. And how you create this little book, and like I said, you can all make your own little book, you're going to first start out with your paper like this, and then you're going to fold it. We've talked about how your paper loves this corner to corner, and then we massage and crease. And then, after you have that, you're gonna fold this in half, corner to corner as best you can. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's your book. Massage and crease. Then you fold it once again. Massage and crease. Then you open it up. Now this doesn't really look like a book. The next thing that I wanted to show you is mine has a hole in the center. And you're going to number yours at the end because these are actually going to be upside down. So how to make the hole in the center and you all are doing, I wanted to bring this over here. This is a blue table number three. I wanted to show you all how awesome you're doing at taking care of the supplies this year. Thank you so much. So you're gonna use your pencils and remember we nibble, nibble. Uh, we do not munch, munch. And you see this middle section here and this is open. I'm gonna check this first. You obviously don't have to cut the side that's not open. Hold it and then the center, you're gonna cut a tiny and it's folded together tiny little slip and you're coming you're cutting across these two pieces here in the center and what this does is it makes it easier for you to open and close your book then you want this to be your cover and you already have it folded and you're just going to make it into a zigzag now textures is how something looks or feels like it has um, like we've talked about with lines and patterns so back to this you would fold this back up crease it like that and then at the end, I would number one, two, three, four, turn it over five, six, seven. But I want you to remember when you're using your treasure boxes, here we go, texture treasures. We never ever steal, we know that. Texture treasures and you open up and you can put these in the middle of your table. You're going to share with everybody at your table. And remember, we have naked crayons. And the naked crowns are the ones that don't have any clothes. You don't want to use the regular crowns because it will ruin them. And you're going to share them. And you're also going to be uh, watching videos about the Artist of the Month, Jim McKenzie, while we do this. And we have to remember, please don't be noisy. Don't be too noisy. And in your crate, beside your treasure box, you will have a bunch of different things to play and experiment. After you've made your book, please feel free to um, design something else. So in your treasure, and like I said, you can take this stuff out, you're going to make, how many different textures are you going to make? You're going to make seven. And on the front, you're gonna have your cover. So the number one, and you would have it flat out like this, 
I would take a design, anything you want, and it goes underneath the paper. So it goes underneath the paper, and then I choose what crown I want, the naked crown, and I just concentrate on this area. Now you want to hold on to it, make sure it doesn't move, and you also have a choice of something to do. You can do one color. You could also later, if it was me, this kind of looks like a building. If you want to draw on top of this, and I'll show you what I mean, let me take a marker real quick, or you could do multiple colors. Maybe you want to have, so I'll show you why it looks like a building to me. We've been talking a lot about using your artist eye and what do things look like to you, and we've been drawing 3D shapes, and you all have been doing such an awesome job. So now I've taken my second crown, and now we move this out of the way, and we have plenty of things to share with people at your table. Now remember, when you have a crayon, it might be hard to go over. You could use a pencil. Now, this looks like, to me, it looks like a building, and that's why I put in that extra color. So all you're going to do is you're going to watch videos today of our next Artist of the Month. If you want to make this into a 3D shape, we've talked about rectangular prisms, and now it really looks like a building. So there we go. Then the next thing I remember, we snap our cap so the marker takes a nap. Um, I have all kinds of cool little items in here. So you would set this across, get another color, and rub. Ooh, look at that. Now I talked about overlapping. So maybe you want to just have one design, or you could mix them. But you always have to have them underneath. And some of these things might just be for feeling. Uh, this is a, and maybe you've never thought about a shell having texture. You could try to do a rubbing and create a picture. And I've talked about it before. This one's hard to do because it's so raised. So there is my shell. Like I said, just try your best and experiment. And then maybe I want to use one of the bigger ones. Or I can save this to do when I make, you can just do an extra paper. Okay, so I'm going to rub over these. And it's going to be noisy. And hopefully we can hear the videos with this. But if you notice, I'm holding it still with one hand and rubbing with the other. And that's not, it's not too noisy. And what I want you to think about is adding in another color. Look how beautiful that is when you have both the green and the orange. So you're going to be making texture books today and watching videos of our Artist of the Month, Jim McKenzie. Don't forget those yearbook designs.